Are we R E A D Y? To P A R T Y, baby girl. P A R T Y. Okay. That took me, took me a while. Day. Took me a while. That did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we're filming. Oh, sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Oh, I need more light. Martin Otis, we're back, and um, we we have uh, Faye here. All the joys of the fair no with Faye. She's arrived. She is going skiing. Um, and now, and you, you're so excited about skiing. However, last week, give me hands. Last week, she was not so excited because had you seen the pictures of the snow resort that Faye was going, um, you would have been sliding down the bank on a cardboard, you know, a bit of cardboard like you used to at home on, on, on the grass with cardboard sledging. Well, no, it's not. There's no. no snow. I didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> but I'm not the only one. Apparently, people who thought you're going on a ski holiday assumed there would always be snow, which well, yeah, I did. I did. And a number of people I spoke to said, I didn't know it was a thing, and nor did I. I, I, I don't think it's supposed to be a thing, because hence the ski resort. You know, it's like going to Turkey and, not, you know, the sun's going to be there yeah. saying, hello, I'm here, I'm yeah. out to play. Yeah, um, so. But no snow, it's a snow resort. Now, you know what's going on there, don't you? <laughs> Global warming. Absolutely. Climate change. Climate change. Oh, What's sorry, the difference sorry. between know, climate I'd, change I'd, I'd and global the same. warming? I'd be the same. Because people think that um... the tech. <laughs> the tech. <laughs> sorry, the te no, 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 the, tell us. The tell tech us. guy knows his Come stuff. on, Adam Come on, the Ad. cameraman. Adam the weatherman. Come on, tell us all about it. Well, it's because. It's not always warming, is it? Come on, Mr. Climate Change. Yes, it isn't always no, no. warming. Yeah, it's so like people, freezing. so it's it's better to say it's climate change because if you just say global warming, people say, well, why is it snowing in America now, like really heavy? Well, firstly, because it's winter, you idiots. But secondly, <laughs> um, yes, it's the it's the worst winter for whatever, however long. Yeah. Blah blah blah. But that's climate change, and yeah. the and the idiots, the like the climate change deniers. Yeah. I'll go, well, obviously, it's not global warming because it's freezing in this American yes. accent. It's not very in much accent. Are you hungry? Do no, you I'm eating it? at the moment. I've, I've, got, I've got myself a sandwich here, so... So, Faye, how, we're going to do an infill on Faye just in case you have no idea of what the hell this video is about. It's a little bit crazy, and that's how I like it. Can we keep this vibe all day? Yeah. Um, all day, every day. How long have these been on? Been on or been... Since we last did them. Okay. So it's been seven weeks and two days. How many hours? <laughs> <laughs> seven and weeks and two days since we've done these. Look at that. That is, if I, if I had my nails on for that long, they'd be all the way down here. You are fortunate in a way that you have your nails done and they hardly grow. So you can oh, get a lot for, longer. Well, fortunate for whose sake, yours or mine. For, for my oh, sake, because I, I don't have to see you every other week. Um, <laughs> you know, normally a two... A two to three week appointment is required to maintain the nails. Some people can go four Normally, weeks. Normally, Kirsty goes four or five weeks with Faye. Because Faye's nails are the gross. Yeah, so she gets well, so much wear out of it. No, it's the problem is, is you want to be on camera and we're not always on camera, are we? Huh? Like, she'd rather come with... So oh, and film than just do it at my house. Yes. I would. Yes. Absolutely. Kirsty would want me on cam. Ah. Oh, if I said to Kirsty, <laughs> Kirsty, I'm coming yours, I've been else done. She'd be like, Of course. Well, we're not filming. She'd be like, And I need you filming. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, yeah, we not... have Faye in to film. Why do you think we have her in, in to film? Because she's full of the bands and we love it. And the drama. So, you can see that Christmas design, goodbye. Yeah, absolutely, I... wave that design goodbye. However, yeah. what has seven weeks and two days of Faye's nails changed? What's changed? What's changed? Well, what colour is on this hand? Yeah. And what is on the, well, not colour. What was on this hand and what is on that hand? Oh, what what, I don't know. I think Come she's on. trying -T -T -E. to say. I think she's trying to say. So she has. Sorry, I've been ordered to turn the distractor fan off because it's very distracting. Um, <laughs> Faye has on matte top coat and 
How do you feel about the matcha? I cake? absolutely love it. Before, seven weeks ago, I absolutely loathed it. And Kirsty, bless her absolute little heart, and because she knows what a fussy pants I am, said if I was that adamant that I didn't want them to be matte when I left the studio, yeah. that Kirsty would re-top coat them so that I could leave with 10 glossy nails and I left with five glossy, five matte. And I absolutely yeah. love them. You love so this, Anne, you? You love yes, the matte. Looking. And she's fully converted. She never would have had it before. <laughs> never. Right, okay. <clears throat> Reverse motion. We're not digging in like this. We're not at that angle. We're quite a flat angle. And we're just kind of just teasing that cuticle back and letting the e-file make contact with any of that non-living tissue. And it'll just wazz it off. Woo! So we can do that on all the nails. Because if we don't, Faye will tell me about it. Yeah, Kirsty will know about it. Can you do your little scissors work on it as well? Because there's some... Skin there, I don't need that round in my life. Do you know what I do like to do? And this is a top tip from me. Top tip. Don't have clients like me. <laughs> <laughs> See, the beauty of it is, I ain't no client. She ain't no client. I ain't. She's I free. ain't no client. <laughs> so, um, no, I'll, I'll be serious now. <laughs> um, sister. Top tip is, if you feel like there's a bit of cutting you need to do of non-living tissue from the cuticle area then I if you think oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna file around that cuticle and then I might cut the client because you know you've taken a bit of that skin away well that dead living non-living tissue there's more chance of you cutting your client so you can actually do that process after there is some nail techs that do that and that's fine there's no light rule that you have to take off those little bits of flappy skin before you apply. As and long as it. as long as you have this border around here nice and free from cuticle and you can kind of feel it because it feels like a bit rubbery. It feels different than the nail plate itself. So non-living tissue will be feel all nice and rubbery. Yeah, it done me fun. Well, let me just do these first, but thanks for telling you me. You told me off last time. Did you tell me off? I did tell you off. Thank not you. Me. You're like, why didn't you tell me? I was like, oh, I can't win. So what was I saying? Damn if I do, damn if I don't. What was I saying? What about what? So you take off the rubbery bit. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Jackie I don't. Jackie don't. So people understand what I'm saying. I think the people that watch this channel must talk fluent, Kirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Infl Infl sometimes Infl I wonder how the hell you even know what I'm Infl going on Infl about. Well, it's funny because, like, obviously, that your opener and your closers a up duck. And, yeah. And so many people are confused by it. It's oh, still they? Making what? Me laugh. Uh, a up duck and tara duck. Yeah, they don't know what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need subtitles? Yeah, we definitely. So we say. It. Some people. Some are people you duck? It, your bug, bugs bunny saying duck. Mm. No. So, I a duck, so that means like hello. Duck is an endearing word, so it's like hello, dear. Babes, or hello, babe. Yeah. Loveliness. Yeah. Darling. Yeah. So, duck Horn. is like darling. And then, ta ra, duck is like goodbye. Ta ra. Ta ra. It's goodbye, duck. So, it's endearing. I love you guys. Do you know what I mean? I'm being nice. Okay, sanding band. So, we had the sanding band. I'm going to turn it down to. Seven, so we can go between sort of five and seven rotations. Thousand letters. It's not just like, you know, seven. I'll be very slow. Between five and seven thousand rotations. Um, I'm just making sure we kind of blend in. And then I am just making sure there's no shiny spots on that natural nail. It's very gentle. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You've got very Pamela Anderson vibes with that. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, I always wanted to look like Pamela Anderson. Yeah, you've got Pammy Anderson vibes. I love Pammy. Get me on. We I are going to wipe over with Clean Up Solution. This is going to 
get rid of any of that remaining dust. It's going to catch it in the lint-free wipe. What did we do before lint-free wipes? I don't know, but I've gone. I've bought these. Uh, um, I've put them on me. Oh Am my God. My Amazon link. I bought them from Amazon, and they're surgical swabs. Oh. So they are high grade. You know what I mean, high quality. I'm going to use a Mr. Buttons brush because I'm doing a fill. So because I'm doing a fill, I only need smaller beads. So that's what I'm going to use. A slightly smaller brush. I normally use the Oscar brush. It's, it is my thing. I'm going to put the primer on. We're going to use the Jellica system today. And I, I do, I've got, I need to speak to Karen because I swear Karen stopped doing Jellica now. Which is, oh, which is quite sad. Yeah. So Karen, so it's Karen's product brand, the Jellica. Yeah. She stopped doing it. Jalica is such a lovely brand. I love Jalica. And it's mm. only a small and in independent. Do you know what I mean? Small, well, independent. And shout out to lovely. Shout mm. out to Karen. Karen, Fussy Bay. She loves. does run like a busy salon. Do you know what I mean as well? So I can imagine that that itself is pretty stressful. Yeah. And did you know I'm doing clients again? How amazing is that? Amazing. Yeah. Um. A lot of people have asked why, which I think we've got. You know. I'll let them know why. So, the reason that I'm doing clients again. So, I haven't done clients for what? Five years, Adam, do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've been I mean, filming for at least five. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Course, yeah I mean, so, yeah. Um, I stopped because I didn't have time. However, I have noticed that over the years of not doing clients, I have got much slower. Adam would definitely agree with that. <laughs> I am much slower, and I think it's because I'm only doing, you know, my model's nails, I'm maintaining the model's nails, that's sort of what I'm doing. So it's like, you know, that's obviously going to have an impact on my speed. And also, I found that I'd become a bit of a recluse. So I wasn't going anywhere, didn't want to do anything, had total anxiety um, about being out in places. And you probably think you lie. I am not lying. I tell you, I my mental health was going down the drain. I'd had hardly any interaction with people, only Adam, and you know that that's stressful in itself. Um, so just Adam and you know nail models, kids, family. That's about it. I couldn't bear the thought of going food shopping because all the people and oh my god, it's too overwhelming. So, I thought, I'm getting worse, and I thought, well, if I don't change it myself, then who's, who's going to do it? Who's going to make the change? No one's going to fix this problem for me. So, I thought, I'll start doing nails again. I enjoy doing nails. Just filming all the time can be quite, I don't know, it's te the word tedious is, might, might be the wrong word. It can be... I don't know. What's no, the it, it's, <laughs> no, it, yes, you've got a reason to do it. Mm -hmm. and, yes, you've got a reason to do it. You know, it's, it's to and, put videos online. You know, it's, but it's to a lot of the time you're not sort of online. seeing a finished product. A lot of the time you're not like, sort of seeing a finished product. Nails, for instance. Yes. Like, you very rarely seeing that. Nails, for instance. Yes. And you're very it, rarely it's actually a bit even, it's a bit stressful. It, like, it's it's especially at the end of a day. It's a bit stressful. A film and then you've got to do the of yeah, and it's just yeah. I don't know. Just and it's just it's a str it is yeah, stressful. Know, Filming just, is stressful. Everybody thinks that this is like the most cushy job we ever, but it is really stressful. Um, especially when the analytics are all messed up as well, and you feel oh. like you're doing it for no reason because the reach has gone down the pan yeah. on lots of social media platforms. So it can be quite disheartening. It is. I mean, there's been videos we've put out where it is. I mean, there's been videos we've put out where. where Nothing's like, happened especially with them, on Facebook where like, I don't know what happened with Facebook six months ago. But like, I don't know what happened with Facebook like, six months mm -hmm. ago. But yeah, we got a million people on there. Like, and yeah, we got a million people on So that there. yeah, it is disheartening. It's really disheartening. So that, yeah. yeah, it is disheartening. So I mean, all of our social media yeah. links are in the description box. So please go follow us on all of them. But yeah, so it was you know my mental health wasn't great. I needed to make a change. Nobody else was going to fix me. So I thought. I'm going to start doing nails again. I need to see people. I need to interact with people. I need to um, hear people's stories. I need to be stimulated mentally by other people. 
and so yeah I started doing clients and I am so glad that I started doing clients again because the stories that have been told to me you know I, f I feel very what's the word I've just used it stimulated mentally and it's made a big difference don't get me wrong I've still suffer with anxiety and depression and things like that but it's not it's not as bad as it was so basically it's self rehab shall we say and a lot of people that have come to me um have asked me why you know how, how come you're doing doing um nails now um and when I've openly spoke to them, they have then spoke to me about their mental health. And I feel like I've had like some kind of therapy session. Mm -hmm. And I think they do as well because there's so many. I think there's, you know, 90% of the people that I have done nails for lately suffer with the mental health. And it's quite an achievement for them to even come here and get their nails done by, you know, their idol. That's like quite a daunting thing and they've done it and they're so proud of themselves and so am I. So yeah, have I just gone on a bit? Self-diagnosed no, self ADHD, <laughs> duck. TikTok diagnosed ADHD. Also, I tell you what, it's great to be able to also, go in the comment section now and say, there's a link to the comment section. Hill. Instead of saying, really sorry, but Kirsty just didn't say it. I know. Because it's like, it's like, yeah. like yeah. the, 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 the most asked question. Like, apart from the, having you out your ass. The most asked question. Apart from having you out your ass. Because it's like, that was the most asked question. Apart from having you out your ass. Yeah, now it's nice to be able to say to people, there's a link. Yeah, it's nice to be able to say to people. And I'm absolutely loving it. I really am. I really am. I'm loving it um and yes it's a little bit more of an income um especially when you know social media is getting down the pan a bit but mm. it's not about the money for me it's about that mental side of it that stimulation so yeah so if you want to book in i'm sure we'll we'll put a link below i'm sure there's like lots of you that maybe you feel like you live too far but we've had people traveling from all over to come um, well, we've had people come to from the US and from yeah. Africa and, and from all sorts of stuff. Yeah. From Africa yes. and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, so people are travelling, you know, they're travelling three hours away to come and have the nails done. And I'm like, I love that. So we're going to file these and I'm going to do my normal filing routine. So somebody asked me the other day and has been badgering me quite a lot about a filing video. So hopefully this video will help you. So... Because these are an almond shape, when I do the side walls, it's it's quite easy to just reshape that. If it was a square or something that really needed some attention on the tip, I wouldn't do that until after I've done the cuticle. So we're going to file around the cuticle, and you can see that I'm angling. And what I'll do on the other one, I'm going to draw on it. I know you're thinking, what the hell are you going to draw on the nail for? It will help you. Um, I was teaching a one-to-one -one class via Zoom the other day um, to a lady from Virginia. Um, and, you know, she really found that filing routine so much better. She was more consistent with her structure of the nail just with like a little simple hack yeah so i'm going to draw out this so i file a horseshoe shape when i do the cuticle i file this very free edge and here so if it's an almond shape i can do this free edge first i'll do this second and then I will come up these sides. And because this is this shape, I would do a V-like shape. And I'm going to file these and these. And last, I will file here. That's so good. Do you know what? I don't even think, at all the years you've done my nails, and that's some years, that's like half my life. Not being funny, I have never seen you do that on... So I can see why people are asking, is what I'm saying. Yeah, oh yeah, and you see why people do one-to-ones with me, oh, do you know what I mean? Because there's a lot that we don't cover on this channel, that do you know what so I mean? That is so good. So, 
I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> they <laughs> like this. Get a bit of top going on. <laughs> Matt got caught though. Oh, Matt, yes, oh, Matt. 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 Yeah, yeah. Matt so, I'm going to run through that again. One, side walls. If it's got a free edge here and it's a square nail or it's a Russian almond nail, or it's a gothic almond or an edge nail, you're going to leave that free edge till last. But because it's an almond nail and it all continues, there's no sort of corners to it, we can do all of this at the same time. So one. Two, we're going to do the horseshoe shape here. Three, we're going to do these sides here. And then four is down the centre and we marry everything together. So... You can even draw this on with a mark pen. I tend to do that when I'm teaching. So we're going to get those side walls nice and straight. Because if you draw on it, you know that you've filed that area. And you haven't skipped over it. But you've just done that with pencil. Why not just do it with pencil? You can do it with pencil. You can do it with a marker. You can do it with different coloured markers. Okay, So that, that would be quite to helpful as well. To set out like different areas. Yeah. Isn't it? Okay. I'll see what you say. I mean, I'd love somebody to do a digital image of that and it can just go there. That would be great. <laughs> so, I'm doing the horseshoe shape and I'm angling. I'm not I'm not flat. So, let's just view this from the side. So, I'm angling uh, like this. Yeah, I'm not like this. I'm not flat like that. I'm angling like that. As we skip round. Application. If your application is nice and neat there, you'll just skip round like that. Then I'm going to do number three section. So those top sides, left side, right side. Make sure that blends. Just check everything is nice. Down the, just check down the barrel as well, just to make sure you've removed bulk where you need it to. And you can also look underneath the nail and have a look at the thickness each side. And that's going to give you an indication whether you still have room to file or you're going to make it too thin. Okay, so I'm now just going to marry those together, pulling directly to myself and then... I'm just going to wrap and contour over the top just to marry everything together. Check down the barrel, make sure there is no imperfections. Question, should you be left with any markation on it? Like no, and no, we should be left with no pen on. So if we look at the side here, we've got a bit of a drop. Because nails like to sort of, die, you know, majority of nails. You mean like that? Yes, tend to drop. So we're straightening these up, making sure that's nice and straight. So checking all angles is super, super, super important. We're going to do that on all the nails now. So you want to make sure you buff, and when you buff, you're just bringing it all together. Give that a dust, and then we're going to wipe over with clean up solution. Wiping over again is going to grab all those little bits of particles of debris and dust. Make sure you get right round the nail fold because, you know, that is going to be a crucial area that needs to be nice and clean, especially when you're doing gel polish. So there you are. I'm not going to do anything else to the nails because we're going to leave them fresh for another video to do some lovely nails. So join us for that one. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all of that shebang. So there you are, guys. How to fill your acrylic nails, including prep and the famous filing routine. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Like absolutely not. There. There. Yes. I'm not. We argue about the lighting all the time. I need more light. More light. All the overexposure. <laughs> the problem is, the go. background ends up looking dark. 
if That's you... fine. I stand out then. <laughs> oh, I think we should ask the viewers. Is this lighting okay? Hey, ask the viewers over the tech. Excuse over the tech, man. Is Adam the cameraman? Is this lighting good? Are we cool with this? We've got the shiny face going on, but you know, that's life of the menopause. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How many times are we going to hear the N-word today? Adam, did you hear it? 